Jayant takes 5 minutes to send 20 messages. On the other hand, Pranay takes 3 minutes to send the same 20 messages. In how many minutes they together will send the 20 messages? Time and work is our topic for now. Combination of efforts makes a work easy. Let's solve questions of this sort. Time and work. In this concept, we'll understand the time taken to finish a work. Let's understand a few shortcuts. If A finishes a work in X days, then part of the work done by A in one day will be 1 by X. If he takes X days to finish the work, then the part of the work done by him in one day will be 1 by X and this will be vice versa. So if you know the part of the work done in one day, you can understand in how many days will he finish the work. And the second one is, if A is X times as fast or as good or as efficient as B, then the ratio of rate of working of A and B will be X is to 1 and the ratios of their time taken is 1 is to X. So if A is X times fast or as good or as efficient as B, then the rate of working ratio will be X is to 1. And on the other hand, the ratio of time taken will be the reciprocal of this which is 1 is to X. How can we obtain the remaining work to be done? That is by subtracting the part of the work done from the total work. Let's understand a couple of formulae. Let's say if A finishes a work in X days, and B finishes a work in Y days. If these two work together, how many days will it take to complete the work? This can be obtained from the formula XY by X plus Y. And in the other case, let's say A takes X days to finish the work and A plus B, that is both together, take Y days to finish the same work then days to complete the work by B alone will be XY by X minus Y. Having understood the shortcuts and formulae, now let's solve the type 1 questions. Type 1, A and B can do a work in 12 days, B and C in 15 days and C and A in 20 days. If A, B and C work together, they will complete the work in. As we have understood earlier, if A takes X days to finish the work, then part of the work done in one day will be 1 by X. So from this, A plus B's one day work will be 1 by 12. Similarly for B plus C's, it will be 1 by 15 and C plus A will be 1 by 20. This given that if A, B and C work together, so on adding these three, 2 into A plus B plus C's one day work is equal to 1 by 12 plus 1 by 15 plus 1 by 20. On solving this, we will be getting 1 by 5. On taking this 2 below, A plus B plus C's one day's work will be 1 by 10. This is a part of the work done by A, B and C in one day is asking for in how many days will they complete the work. So 1 by 10 is in this form. How do we convert like this? By reciprocating this. So A, B and C together finish the work in 10 days. This is the answer. Let's solve another question. A works twice as fast as B. If B can complete a work in 12 days independently, the number of days in which A and B can together finish the work is from the formula if A is X times as fast as B then ratio of rate of working will be X is to 1 and ratios of time taken will be 1 is to X. So A works twice as fast as B. So ratio of rate of work will be 2 is to 1 
and ratio of time taken will be 1 is to 2. It is given as B can complete a work in 12 days. So, B's work in one day will be 1 by 12. From this, if B's work is 1 by 12, then A's work in one day will be 1 by 6. He is asking for the number of days in which A and B together finish the work. First, let's find A plus B's one day's work which is 1 by 6 plus 1 by 12. On solving this, we will be getting 1 by 4. This value is one day work. How do we achieve the number of days to finish the work? By reciprocating this. So, A and B together can finish the work in 4 days. A and B together can complete a piece of work in 4 days. If A alone can complete the same work in 12 days, in how many days can B alone complete the work? Let's solve this. It is given that A and B can complete the work in 4 days. So, their 1 day work will be 1 by 4. It is given that A alone can complete the work in 12 days. So, A's 1 day work will be 1 by 12. In how many days B alone can complete the work? That is by subtracting A from total value. So, B's one day work can be calculated by 1 by 4 minus 1 by 12 and you will be getting 1 by 6. This is B's one day's work. So, in how many days will he finish the work? That is in 6 days. Therefore, B alone can finish the work in 6 days. This is the answer. Hope you have understood the concept, formulae and questions in this category.